Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Wow. Can we say louder than that? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, I would like we close our eyes and pray because I have a very special one from the Lord. And I thank God before we pray. Thank you very much, Ben, the administration, and also pastors, readers, and all people who are here. May the Lord bless you as we listen to the mind of God. Let's pray together. Our good and heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we need to thank you because of who you are, God, because of the greatness of your word, O oh God. There is none like you, God. You are the one in heaven, and you are the one who has sent us and created us with your own image. We need to thank you for your goodness and mercy as we continue serving you. May your name be praised and be honored in Jesus' name. My God, as we speak your word, let your mind, O oh God, be the mind of the runner, the mind that you have for us today. What we say, we need to hear the lame word from you. For you are great God to release the spirit of understanding in our lives. We need to thank you. We need to give you praise. Because you are great God. And it is in Jesus' name we pray and we believe. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, everybody. May the Lord bless you so very much. Thank you. I have been looking forward to come. And share the mind of God with you. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And I thank God for each and every person who is here alive today. It has taken the heart of God for us to be alive today. Amen. It has taken the heart of God also to have the strength, even the ears that can hear. Even to have the understanding that can understand. It has taken the heart of God. Amen. We may not know what God is planning in his sacred places. But what I can urge you, brothers and sisters, is to open your mind, open your eyes and ears, and hear the understanding of God. And when we continue reasoning to God, He will come and strengthen our lives because He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. If we did it yesterday, even today He can do it again. Amen. If we blessed Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. And if we're going to do it today, even tomorrow, he's going to do it for you. May the Lord bless you so very much. I believe you have the topic which I'm going to speak today. The heart of the righteous man bears a lot. I don't want to explain so much, but the summon of the Lord and the mind of the Lord will speak to ourselves. I thank God because I am in this place. Where I love most. Amen. I have the people that I love most. Amen. Why don't you say a big amen? amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you know there is very, very, you know, there is a great joy when you talk to a friend. There is a great joy when you dine with a friend. Yes. Yes. Amen. There is a great joy when you walk with a friend. Amen. Right? The way we have been walking and doing things together. With Arias, then I love you so much. I need to give you one instance that happens a few days ago. And uh, Wasayun can be the witness of this and uh, Anne and, uh, and the rest who were there last week. It was his birthday. And they looked for somebody who can listen to a very urgent message. And they said, you, Bishop, if you talk to them, he's going to be listening to you. But because we don't want him to know that we are preparing something for him, we give you that message. And you know what? That material day, I called the man of God. I need to see you urgently have a very urgent message. And you know he was very busy. He's a busy man. I love him. And he told me, Bishop, if you are the one who called me, I'm going to come. And then I tell Wasayud and the rest who are preparing for the birthday party, I caught up the guy. He is now in the nest. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. And I told them, prepare everything that you did in his, in a, in his absentia, and then let us do it in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I called him. 
And I told him now I'm in federal way, but I need we meet in Kent. He was like, in Kent? What is there? I told him my there is a place that I need I eat some veggies. You know the veggies we used to cook when you come to my house sometimes back. <laughs> I got a place where we can enjoy some real nice food. And we went there and I told the guys now call me when we are almost to pay. And then one of the ladies, the pastor and doctor, she said, Bishop, I'm very sick. I said, I don't know, just just come. Where are you? Are you near? I'm like, why? What a coincidence. Have you just called when we are almost to eat? And then I told uh, Ben, something has happened. <laughs> but but I, know I did not want to pay the food, but he likes to pay. <laughs> he paid. And then we walked to a place where we were preparing for his day, for his birthday party. Immediately we entered the door. And great Kegosha came out. And we surprised the man. He said, I know the man who can surprise me with a message. Amen. What a great God we serve. What am I saying? There is a great joy when you walk with a friend. There is a great joy when you cooperate with a friend. There is a great joy when you walk a journey with a friend. When you also do a good job with a friend. When you are in a church with friends. And that's why Jesus said, I will not be calling you servants from now. I will be calling you friends. friends yeah. Say amen. amen. I will be calling you friends. It is good in the church to have friends of Christ. Mm. It is so great to have friends. That when I call you, you are there to be found. Mm. When I need you, you are there. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. God is what God is looking in our midst. When you have good, good friends somewhere, like the way I have Musel and Weibo, he's my good friend. My old friend who has never hurt me in my life. That Musel there, Papa, I love you so much. Amen. He knows that. We have gone a journey that only me and him who can see something. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He has never ever hurt me. He is a good friend. What am I urging to the church today? Be a friend of them. Be a friend of the church. And a friend of Jesus. Amen. And you will walk a journey without tearing one another. For God will be calling you a friend. Amen. And now when you continue loving God, your heart will be great. You will bear fruit because you are friends. You are not hurting one another. You are blessing one another. Amen. Am I taking you somewhere with the word of God? Yes. Say amen. amen. The heart of the righteous man bears much. And the Bible is very clear in the book of Proverbs chapter 12. Where my brother has already read in the book of Je uh, uh, Proverbs 12. And I know you are there with me. I want to walk you just a little journey in a few words. And I know God will, uh, will greatly bless you. I have greetings from several people who I believe they are on right. I have shared this week to so many people. And I have great people. I have also great people in Kenya. The church I used to manage there. We have a huge and many, many churches there. They are on right listening to this sermon. Amen. And this is what I always say and I tell them. As a father, we need to be friends. If there is something difficult and vulnerable, mm. it's having a leadership where you are not friends. Mm. You will have an uphill in your life. Because you're telling us, you'll be telling people to buy the keyboard. And one will be saying, don't like it. <laughs> if you tell somebody, let's buy this, they will be opposite and negative. But the Bible is very clear. When the people are friends, they know what to do. And now we cannot be luscious before God unless we know the mind of God. Mm. You cannot walk with a friend without knowing his mind, without knowing his mind, without knowing his plans. That's right. And now we can only be friends of Jesus yes. only when we are righteous before him. Amen. That is the only thing we can only become friends with Jesus. Yeah. There is no other way. 
Even if I look so beautiful or so angry or so hungry or so angry, those does not qualify to be afraid of Jesus. The only thing that can make you to be afraid of Jesus is being righteous before God. Amen. That is the only thing that can touch the heart of God. Ah, how don't you say a big amen? amen. amen. It is only the righteousness that can, have, can touch the heart of God. Amen. Other things can touch people. Hallelujah. Amen. Like the way you see my um, so river is together with the wife. She can, he can be there and she can feel the love. Mm. There is a way, and the way he make love to the to to his wife is not the way you make. There is difference of things, yes. but with Jesus, we have only one common ground: be righteous before God, and we will become afraid of Jesus. Amen. And that's why I need to put you into my brother that the heart of the righteous man bears fruit. If we need to bear fruit. We need to know what is the righteousness of God. We need to understand the mind of God. Who are those people who are righteous? Are we only people? We are not only people. We are chosen. We are separated. We are ordained. And now we have become the sons of God. Amen. And if you are chosen, you are separated. Now walk according to the separation that God has separated you. And then you will be afraid of Jesus. Amen. And you are right, you will never be the same again. Amen. The Bible says in the book of uh, Proverbs 12 and Verses 12, I'm going to go very quickly. The Bible says the wicked desire the net of the evil man. What about that? I like when Ben always say, what about that? Brother <laughs> Smith, Amen. The Bible says, let me read verses 12. The Bible says, the wicked desires the stronghold of the evildoer. But the root of the righteousness endures. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The wicked desire the stronghold of the evildoers. When somebody is not a friend of Jesus, when somebody is not doing the will of the Lord, mm. that person is wicked. Before men and before God. It might be only before God. But the Bible says when somebody is wicked, he desires the stronghold of the evildoers. When people are not holy, when people are not righteous, they desire the stronghold. That's why they separate themselves with the love of God so that they can raise against the work of the ministry. Amen. Are we working together, brothers and sisters? Yes. And that's why the Bible says, rest desire to be righteous, so that we can bear fruits. Mm. And the Bible says, and the peace that God will give unto you will surpass all human understanding. Amen. Say amen. Amen. There is something beyond human understanding. There is somewhere that you can be Ah, beyond the human understanding. There is somewhere you can be wise than the running. Mm -hmm. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Because the running can only talk the knowledge. Mm -hmm. But the narrative, the, 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 the righteous can raise the wisdom of God. Amen. And the Bible says the wicked does not desire the things of the righteousness. But they desire to come together on the other side of the wicked people. Let's tell our God, give us good friends, Lord. Give us good friends. Good friends, oh God. If you need somebody who can walk a good journey with you, it's only a friend. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. But when you walk with the wicked, oh no, give you a love and love. If you walk with your enemies, even if you walk strong, my brother, they will say you are getting sick. If you get a good body, he will say he is now under another pressure. If you get shredder, they will also talk. <laughs> you cannot satisfy those people who desire the stronghold of the evil ones. 
wale watu wanakutakia mambaya hakuna siku you gonna satisfy them even if you do the best you will never satisfy them so just do your best and tell god i gonna be holy i gonna be righteous before god amen and when you do that you arrive we will never be the same again you will see god working with you you will see god doing great things for you there is righteousness which comes from men and there is that righteousness that comes from god Oh don't you hear what the Bible says that Paul who was called Saul he was righteous before the Pharisees and Sadducees mm. and scribes he could go and destroy the church the church of God and to them he was counted righteous Ah why you mean you know Amen Praise the name of the Lord Amen But there is not the righteousness of God the ways of God and Paul I'm going to tell you we are sharing one salvation in common. Amen. Not my own salvation, not my own righteousness, by the righteousness that we share in common. Mm. The mind of God that will change your life, that will give you a destiny in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I feel like King Isaac could quite a beard now. Yes, that's good. That's good. But the root of the righteousness and do us Are you righteous? You gonna endure all. You gonna ah oh, my Jesus. The Bible says you will get great things in the eyes of God. Before you do anything of God, you must qualify to be righteous. Amen. Before you do anything, you must come out from self righteousness and enter into the righteousness of God. And when you do that, you will see God working in you. You will see God doing great things in you. How many people have tried to come up with their own righteousness but they don't make it. We know that right so he never made it. We know others in the Bible and they never made it. But because we love God brothers and sisters, we desire to have the righteousness of God. Let's not compare ourselves with the things of the world, but let's call upon the Lord. And we take the mind of God. We be directed by the mind of God. Amen. The Bible says in the book of John, 15 and verses 3, that you are now clean because of the word that I've preached to you. Mm. You are not cleansed by things that you go to the bathroom and clean yourself with the best But Jesus told them brothers and sisters you know what you are clean because of the word that I've given unto you Amen. the only thing that will make you look as white as snow it is obeying the word of God Amen. it is only walking by the word of God because Jesus said John 15:3 you are now clean Amen. why because you have obeyed you have received the word of god and when you receive the word of god my brothers and my sister you will be counted worthy before god and anyway, any time you pray god will hearken unto your prayers do you know why prayers are not going anywhere it's because people are not cleansed by the word of god do you know why prayers and blessing prays it's because people they They walk by their own righteousness. Mm. Running out to be holy and living the righteousness of God. There is something that I've chosen brothers. Brothers and sisters, something that I've chosen to be cleaned by the word of God. Amen. By obeying the word of God and the word of God will do great and mighty things. Amen. I can say to them receive the grace of God. Amen. So that you may be cleansed by the word of God. And I cannot just tell you now you are holy unless you receive the word of God. Amen. If you tell so now you are good and you show him the chance he will destroy the administration. Mm. He must be saved by the word of God. Amen. So that you can show him where the church meets. Mm. Hey mother and lord you are. Amen. You cannot take so 
the work of the ministry. My brothers and my sister, let's not be a blessing. Let's desire to be claimed by the word of God. Amen. So that we can see the blessings of God. So that our prayers will not pray. So that what God has planned for us will take forever. Amen. Are you together with me? Yes. Let the righteous people know that they are crowned by the blood of Jesus. They are worthy because God is together with them. Jesus died so that the word will claim you. I remember what I was reading in the book of Luke 11. I know you are following me. In verse 39, when the Pharisees, they were being rebuked by Jesus. You only clean the cup outside, but you don't do it inside. Mm. <laughs> ah, who are you? Many, many, many. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. And Jesus told them, I know you Pharisees and Sadducees and scribes because you know how to clean the cup outside. Not the inside. But the inside is filthy and bad things. Mm. I wish God could open our hearts today. Hey. Amen. We see what is inside there. That is when we don't know who you are. But I need to ask you, brothers, there is no condemnation for those people who are Christ Jesus. Mm. Who are in Christ Jesus? There is no condemnation in you. Mana mm. umesafishwa kwa neno la Bwana. Na ndio tunaimba tumeoshwa kwa damu ya Kristo Yesu. Tumeoshwa kwa damu. Na ikiwa tumeoshwa kwa damu, we must follow the word of God. Amen. For us to receive the blessings of God. Mm. You know sometimes we may get our blessings. Yeah. By going our ways. And the man of God was told unless you go back to the intersection. Mm. Go back to the crossroad and take the ways of God. God will look you when you go. And you will go and God will keep on telling you go back to the, to the intersection. Go back until you make the ways of the Lord straight. Say my amen. amen. And when you do that, you are right, you will never be the same again. Mm-hmm. And by the way, I don't even need to pray for you, you receive the miracle. Yeah. You will meet your miracle in the intersection of where God has called you to be. Amen. You know, many times I don't pray for people to receive the miracles. Because I know where you are, God will meet with your desire. Hey, hallelujah. Because you know how to clean yourself inside, outside. And God will be with you. It's my prayer today, my brothers and sisters, that we may be able to walk in the ways of God so that we can bear our Lord because the word of God has been in our lives. We are able to focus not with our empty eyes. You remember one guy who was actually walking with Jesus. And another one was walking and he was trying to go and do other things on the other side. Even remember the time of Saul. He could not see the angel coming because his eyes were open but the inner eyes were not open. When you are not opened by the word of God, your enemies can destroy and kill you. Mm. So it is good we pray a prayer of faith and pray of God open our inner eyes so that we can see and understand mm. and go according to your will and by so doing we will not crush with our enemies. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes God does not want you to ngangana with your adoes. Mm. He wants you to walk without a battle, without struggle. Amen. But when you go outside the will of God, you will find your enemies are waiting for you. Mm. But when you walk with the ways of God, wait and see what God will do. And Jesus says, those people who does not take the word of God, they clean outside, they don't clean inside, all unto them. But today, brothers and sisters, I have a word of you. Let's know how to clean ourselves inside, outside. And then we'll see the glory of God. We'll see God working together with us. We'll see God working 
and doing mighty things in our lives. Mm. Because in righteousness, in the word of God, is where we can fight the workforce. Amen. I don't know whether it is understood very well. Before you do the work of God, in righteousness, that is where you get the workforce. That is where now, you know, like even is a um, is mtu mkumba, you know? Anaga wakazi. Anaambia wando na wakumba, and then pande hii, na unaeda na wanafanya nini? Wanafanya. Na wanarudi. And also in righteousness, it's where we see the mind of God. That is where we have the workforce of God. That's where we see God doing great and mighty things. You cannot do the work of God without God giving you an assignment in you. That's right. What you say, my other day on the other day, then. See, we begin. On the other day, we are going to be busy. We are going to be There is one who have assigned you. Hey, what you are now? We are now going to come and be. We are going to 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 But when you come out from the battle, God gives you a promotion. Amen. Tell God I need to work with you. Sio kufanya kazi nzito ambao sio ya Mungu na ukoze uzima wa milele. Amen. We need to tell God I need to know your word, oh God. Yes. Church, I'm teaching you something very good. And I'm teaching you something that will help you in the generation to come. That when you fear God, mm. when you walk with God, when you walk with the righteousness of God, mm. you will obey a march. Amen. You will obey a Lord. Amen. And God will give you strength. May God of heaven bless somebody. Amen. May God open our ears of understanding. Mm. So that we can see our destiny. So that we may not allow our destiny killers to come and hijack our blessings of God. That's right. Amen. Oh Jesus. Amen. You know sometimes you can risk yourself to the enemies. They are attacking your destiny. Yeah. You risk yourself to the enemies. And then you miss your target. But I urge you shut. Rest build the work that God has given unto you. Sio ukiona mtu wa kanisa unafukuza. Yes. You know what I mean? But brothers, this is our church. Amen. This is the work that God has given unto us. Can we tell of God, give me a portion so that I enter into my position. Mm. I build up the church. Yes. I build up the work of the ministry. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yani you take the word of God and through when you are coming out there, you come as a prophet. Not dealing by blood. Hey, na blood na na lebo na ku. Ni mara taka na asa. Ni mara ka ilisha mo giki. Ni ilisha ku na we. Wala ni ano wajo. Ni ilisha ku na no jeka. Wala kani wotu ka wu giki. Hallelujah. It is good to know the work that God has called you to do. Don't just do things that will just give you we are more to that to in aga da mete kwa goma hunyo kite. Hallelujah. Amen. 
You come up with the word of God. You do something special in the eyes of God. Amen. Instead of rushing and doing things that do not benefit the church and things also do not benefit you. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Oh my goodness. <laughs> It is good you do whatever belongs to you. Nikamo no yo ne maku no hejo ne maku. You are it you ne kiwa tu ne kuruga ma. I hate na ni dia dona wasa you ni. I will not know kawe rahi ya dia ne ku. You are it you ne maku ne ki. Yeah, you know. Do the will of God. Dig in the righteousness of God. If you need other people to shake to be like you. Being righteous and people will follow you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says very clearly in the book of Matthew twenty-three and the other verses that fall. Mm. It was about the things that will happen. It was a prophetic word from Jesus that whatever maybe you have been seeing, it will come out from this generation. What were born in Wazuri? What were born in Wambaya? What were born in Russia? We are getting a share of restlessness. We are talking about the generation here. I don't want to go deep to those ones that we have already read, but you can learn to it. But what I'm trying to say is this: we need to understand who we are in the kingdom of God. And in our generation, this generation that we are, what are you called to do? Let's not do things and work that does not belong to us. If there is something that does not bother me, is what you eat yesterday is where you went to yesterday. I mind about where I was and where I'm going. That's right. I don't care about other things. Why then? Ona do magire ya kudi kito kanya na na eli asindi kito tiki mano na aki. Ona do magire ya kuhe ya sima odu maako na aki ingua. Can you have such a friend? Who can fight you when you are down and when you are up? Because Paul said, I can fight a good battle even when I'm down there and when I'm standing. Mm. Where are those friends who can be with you down there when you are down there yeah. and when you are strong? Where are those friends who can be there when you are very weak, when you are sick, and when you are able to praise the Lord? Mm. Church, let's know the work that God has given us and to do. Mm. So that we may be the power and the strength of your neighbor. Mm -hmm. The power and the strength of the church and God will bless you. Mm. I may not come with the wand of miracles and wonders. <laughs> I may come with the teaching. But I know even tomorrow we will be a better person for the neighbor, for your husband, for your wife and the church. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. If you preach the word of God, the righteousness of God will fill the church and everybody will be a friend of Jesus. And all of us will share in common what the Bible says that we are the friends of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. We will be the friends of Jesus. He will walk with us. Mm. He will be with us. And as by so doing, the word of God will be the power of us all. Amen. And finally, brethren, the Bible says in John 15 and verse 8 that you will be a fruit because you are in the vine. You are not in the world. You are in the vine. Mm. You know, when you are in the vine, you cannot go away from it. You are just bearing there. Right. 
when we are friends Amen. When we are in the vine that is Jesus Christ, we will bear the fruits. Brothers and sisters, let's know the cause, the work that God has called us to do. Let's be in the vine because the Bible says we are cleansed by the word of God. Let's bear fruits that shows the righteousness of God. And when we do that, our lives will never be the same again. Amen. We will see our blessed tomorrow. Our hearts will receive the joy of God. We will walk with God. Hatutakuwa kama watu wa mataifa. Wale hawajui ukweli. Wanashiba watu na kumaliza watu. Wanakipigia kama Saul. Anaenda the mess na kule kwingine kumaliza kanisa la Kristo. Na ndio vile sema katika Matthew 23 in our generation hawa watu wataonekana. Watu wa kumaliza kanisa. Ni una mtu ayoko kama ile kanisa hiyo vendi. Hapo tendekana ni. Na kuti ni mtu kumu maduda. Nothing. So done. Let's know the work that God has sent us to do. Let's serve God and bear fruit. Because neno la Mungu limetutakasa sisi wenyewe. So let's focus unto the Lord. And as we focus to the Lord, our life will never be the same of God. I urge you brethren Hallelujah. Because we know the purpose. We are not going to let the destiny killer to hijack one of us. Mm. But let's be our brother's keeper. Let's help one another. Let's not fight ourselves. Amen. Let's strengthen one another. Mm. I urge you brothers as I come to complete this my someone. Be your brother's keeper. Let the righteousness of God bear fruits because you are in the vine. You are in Jesus. And when you do that, your life will never be the same again. You will help yourself and help the generation that you are in. And by so doing, let's all start. Amen. Our good and heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I have spoke your word, O oh God. Father, let this one be a fruit, O oh God, in our lives, Jehovah God. Those part, my God, who named miracles. Those people who need to meet with you. Right now, my God, I pray. And I have myself that you may meet with us. And desires of our hearts. So that we can fulfill your will. As you have said uh, when we started. That the righteousness. Or the righteousness of a man will bear fruit. I pray, my God, today. That my brothers and sisters. They will bear fruit. For the glory and the honor of your name. And it is in Jesus' name we pray and we believe. Amen, amen and amen. May the Lord bless you. I love you so amen. much. And I need to bring back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.